Hi there. Thank you for purchasing Lightspeed Pro. In this video, we're going to go over how to install the software for the first time, how to log in, and also some of the first steps that you'll need to be taking. So in the same email that you're watching this video, you should have your license key as well as a link to the downloads page. Go ahead and start the download now and make sure that you have that license key handy because we'll need that very shortly. Once the download's completed, go ahead and open up the DMG file. This will probably be in your downloads folder. That will open up the Lightspeed installer here. As you can see, there's only really two steps that we have to do before we can get started. So let's go ahead and do those now. Step one is to drag the Lightspeed client application into your applications folder. Go ahead and just click and drag that in there. And I'll say replace. Once you've done that, another useful thing you can do oops, is to take your Lightspeed and put it onto your dock. Once you've done that, we can go ahead and open our Lightspeed server installer. We want to open it. Okay. And so, all we need to do is continue on through. And then we've got to agree to the license. And we want to tell it that we're going to use our own license key. I'm going to paste in my license key from this billing email. And we can go ahead and continue. It'll take just a moment to look up your license and ensure that it is valid. And then the software will get installed. Okay, install. We'll need to put in our, oops, our computer's uh, administrator password. And there we go. Lightspeed has been installed successfully. Finally, you'll see that there's a link here to our website, the forums, uh, the support page, as well as the training user guide. Um, there are, will also be links to the user guide as well as a section called Lightspeed Video Learning in this email. I highly recommend that you take a look at those and you use those as a resource to help you get started. Once you've installed the server, one thing you may want to do is come up to the Apple menu and down to System Preferences and then into Lightspeed Server. We may want to rename our server here just so that it's easier to spot in the list. I'm going to go ahead and unlock the panel if we have it. Mine's already unlocked though. I'm going to stop the server and this will require my password. And there we go, server is stopped. At this point we can right click on it and rename the server. And I'll just call that Cori391. And there we go, we can right click again and start the server now. That'll just take a moment. Great, and we're running. I'll go ahead and lock up this panel again and close it down. From here, we can go to our Lightspeed application, find our server in the list here, and then I can log in for the first time with the username of Lightspeed, all lowercase and all one word, and the password of admin, A-D-M-I-N also all lowercase. Go ahead and connect at this point. You'll be given the end user license agreement. Uh, go ahead and print it off, read through it, and agree to it. And now we're looking at Lightspeed. Congratulations, you're all logged in and installed. From here you can watch some videos, uh, you can possibly sign up for a webinar, definitely take a look at the user guide. But what we want to do at this point is click on setup in the bottom right here. This Lightspeed Setup Assistant is going to walk you through some of the really basic configuration steps that are important for any uh, brand new installation of the software. So we're going to go ahead and click through. As you can see, it's asking for our basic company contact info. These will print off on receipts and uh, will be the main way that your customers will be able to get back in touch with your company. Go ahead and click through. You can drag a company logo into this space or you can click on Choose and uh, locate it that way. If you have any images, um, they should be JPEG or PNG format, as you can see, and they should be a square image. Uh, they will be scaled down if they are a larger dimension than the 192 square. This will print off on your uh, full page invoices and documents, as well as any receipts that get printed. 
go ahead and click next. This is asking for the names of our taxes. In this case, US is the default. Um, if the tax you collect is called HST or NYC or something like that, this is what's going to print off on your receipts uh, next to the actual dollar amount of tax that you're collecting. For this, uh, just for an example, I'm going to call this NYC sales. And we'll go ahead. This here is now the rates that we're going to be collecting on those taxes. In this example, I'm just going to leave it as the default 7%. You don't need to put a percent sign, uh, and you can use decimal places if necessary. There's two modes that the point of sale screen in Lightspeed can start in. First, you've got scan mode which is designed to be uh, run with a barcode scanner. It's really for fast ringing up of sales and busting through lines and really rapidly um, just ringing up an invoice and getting people out the door. Button mode is very similar to the iPad view in that it has uh, clickable categories that have photos in them that you can use to um, essentially drill down through the categories and uh, create an invoice with the customer. It's a little bit more interactive, a uh, little bit slower in that you want to take your time and, and look around and it's almost like window shopping in the point of sale mode. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on button mode there. You can also put a rectangular company logo in. This is going to appear on the point of sale screen in the top left corner. We can set a password for uh, the administrator account. Now this is very important. You always want to treat your administrator passwords in Lightspeed like the keys to your physical business. Um, you really, really do not want to lose them. So whatever you do to keep track of this password that you're about to change this to, please record it somewhere. Um, Make sure it's safe, make sure it's secure, um, you know, it doesn't do you any good if you just write it down on a sticky note on the monitor, but please treat this as a very sensitive piece of information. You need to have access to an administrator account at all times with Lightspeed. That said, right now what we're doing is changing the password of the Lightspeed account, the Lightspeed username that we originally logged in with. We're changing the password from admin to something else. In this case, I'm just going to use Lightspeed 1. You will need to have at least seven characters and at least one number in this. So take your time, come up with something that you'll be able to remember, and uh, go ahead and type it in there and make sure it's all confirmed. At that point, I'll go ahead. The next thing you need to do, we've just changed the password of our initial administrator account. The next thing is to create our own administrator account that we're going to use on a day-to-day -day basis. In this case, I'll just quickly put some of my info in here. Again, please treat this password very, very carefully. Um, you really, really want to have access to this. The other important thing is to set your access level, your user level here, to administrator. Also very important, you want to make sure that you have access to configure all the settings and things within the software. At that point, go ahead and click next, and you're all done. At this point, you can uh, go to our training section of our website and take a look at the user guide. If you think you're going to need a little bit more hands-on help, you can find a reseller in your area, uh, someone who's been certified to set up Lightspeed for customers, and they're a great resource if uh, you find yourself a little bit overwhelmed and you feel like having some one-on-one -on -one coaching uh, would be a valuable thing. At that point, I would recommend you check out the Lightspeed video learning section, and that is all. Thank you again for purchasing Lightspeed.